Hello everyone and welcome to Phil Plays. My name is Phil Poe and I play video games. Today we're doing another demo. Today's demo is actually going to be first of three parts. Um, this is the Chantelis A Tale Two Sisters demo. Um, this is uh, the game that um, I personally am quite comfortable with. Um, this is uh, the game that was um, released in English uh, by Easy Game Station and Carmen Folger. Uh, same company um, who distributed um, alongside uh, some other great companies, including East Game Station, um, Fortune Summers, and um, Reseteer, which is kind of awesome. Um, and uh, this is one their other games that um, they've distributed uh, alongside East Game Station. Um, so we're actually going to go ahead and get started already. Um, I've uh, played uh, this game myself, um, actually. This is my personal file. We're going to start out on slot 2, new game. We're going to go ahead and get started. その夜の記憶は曖昧で、もしかして夢なんじゃないかなとさえ思える。月が赤い夜は外に出ちゃいけないよ。魔女に呪われてしまうからね。そんなおとぎ話をよく聞かされたっけ。5年前の月の赤い夜、私たちは外にいた。まるで何かに誘われるように外を歩いていた。そんなに
It's some more terror. All right. She can't see what's wrong. Hey, it's been a while since we get into a fight, huh? You don't know how to fight, right? I know. We're in a hurry, but let's do a quick recap. So Chanti is gonna basically explain basic controls. Um. So in this case, um, she's gonna tell us to do certain commands. For example, pressing C on the keyboard. If you find this on a gamepad, because this game is gamepad eligible, uh, it's button one. So it's like that, uh, which is uh, a slash. Um, jumping, hit X or button two. Um, button four is your V key. Or and uh, as you can see here, we're meeting the this of uh, these green suns. Uh, now the green suns are not. Now we do get the opportunity to switch uh, lock ons. That and uh, we're using the gamepad. You can use your buttons that you can add uh, the game with, or you can use the right hand joystick if you have one. Now, here's a jump step. Uh, so, basically, while you're moving with the direction pad or the arrow keys, if you're playing this on a keyboard, you hit, hit button one and button two at the same time, or see an X. Uh, you get time right, you get a good um, dodging. And uh, press it, C multiple times. That or button one. It's combo. Hey, are you okay? Yes, thank you. That was a bit of a pickle. Yeah, I hope you're grateful since we busted our rooms to save you. If you don't want to make it up to us, you can give us a reward. Come on, Sorry, I was being cleared up. Bro. Oh, well. How about there are my place? What? No, we could possibly. Really, it's fine. I'd love the company to be honest. You heard it, it's perfectly fine. So let's go, miss. Uh, I'm Arya, nice to meet you. Cool, well, I'm Chante, and this is my baby sister, Elisa. I'm watching the meet you, miss Arya. Ira? Right, well, I'm hungry. Let's introduce you more eating. And uh, we'll be in the entire game. Here's something that's interesting. So you both. Well, yeah, we didn't use any magic in that fight, did we? If you don't grab magic stones, I can't use it to blow stuff up, at least, eh? So this is kind of similar to uh, Fortune Summers. You can use magic, uh, but you require magical stones. I'm, not, I'm pretty sure this also happens um, in Reseteer. I'm not sure, so I'm going to leave that in the comments. Uh, and Chante is gonna basically explain about magic, which is kind of complicated. Okay, so, if those of you who are playing long and you want to play long, uh, if you're gonna follow this uh, demo, series of demo videos, listen up very closely because what you're about to hear is how to use magic. First, you need to grab that snow. Get close, step hit on the attack button. In this case, Z. Now press 3, which is like C on the keyboard. To fire. Uh, that was fire magic. Um, and uh, with the magic uh, stone you get will depend on uh, the magic that Chante can use. Since we grabbed a, a redstone, um, Chante can shoot fire. Um, and some spells can lock up to a chase enemy, so you may want to make use of that. And you can use multiple stones at once. For now, uh, you can grab. Two. Um, so here's a good example. We picked up two uh, red stones, which gives us a powerful fire attack. Uh, now you can only use two at the moment, um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much a good tutorial on magical stones. Um, and uh, here's another thing you need to point that Chandler wants to point out. If you hold the button down a long time, the spell will cancel. So, be careful of that. And, uh, let's go ahead and pick up these stones. To save time, I'm gonna go ahead and lock on. And fire! And insta-kills! Now, we in the game. What, what you just saw me pick up was gold candy. Basically, 
um, into treasure, you get treasures in the game, which is awesome. And we're actually going to begin exploring and see how many stones we can collect along the way. Um, now, there are secrets that you can up to the game, so I'll explain some of the secrets. Uh, the secrets that you collect will actually give you, um, uh, uh, oh yes, um, uh, there are secrets that you can, uh, take a look at that actually will give you, um, hidden treasures that you only want to find. As you see me right here, I'm collecting blue stones because there's a secret that we can get right in this area. So, if you're following along and want to get this secret too, don't. Grab any other color stones. Grab blue ones and you'll be good. Um, they the stones will drop when you kill enemies or you attack enemies. So in this case, um, that's a blue stone. All right, here we go. Now we can now if you want the secret, you need to uh, have eight blue stones. Um, since we don't have enough uh, blue stones, since we can only carry six at the moment, uh, we're gonna have to uh, uh, do a turn. Camera around, it's A and S. Pausing the game is W, which allows you to save the game. But you can't save right off the bat, which kind of sucks. Now, for this secret, we have to climb up a hill and we gotta go all the way over here. And we get purple signs. Purple signs, like green signs, they're not. Um. Uh, they're not harmful, so they won't attack you. They're just gonna move around like little idiots, so you want the timing right. And I screwed up the timing. Um, what you me, see me pick up is money. That's that, because I screwed up the secret. Um, which kind of sucks, because I didn't want to mess up the secret. Um, so, that kind of sucks, that was a waste of... I cannot pause in mid sentence. Um, but yeah, what you can see me collecting is money. Uh, the, the enemies you kill will depend on the color of the coin that you get. Um, so in this case, um, CP, by the way, represents copper coins. Uh, so, but, yeah, that's the currency, 10p. Uh, which I actually don't know what that stands for. So you can actually translate that. That would be great because I really want to know. Uh, but uh, bronze obviously gives you 10, uh, silver I believe gives you 50, and uh, gold 100. Um, and uh, here's another game collectible a hawk stone. Really nice. Um, you do have to kill all the enemies before you can progress any further. So that's kind of one of the bad things. Um, so you really want to use your time wise to you kill every enemy. So. Um, and uh, you can't run. Start craft bed. And uh, I think there was one I missed. It's actually right here. What am I doing? Now we're hoping to find blue stones. I don't think that's going to be possible, so for the seeker, we have to kill all four purple slimes. And as I just now we collect um, a blue stone, we have one of bread, which restores health should we take damage. We start off with 30 health right off the bat, but later on we're going to get more and you, my friend. Uh, did I do it right? I did not do it right. Crap. Yeah. And purple slides you cannot attack, so... Ah, uh, yes. Oh my god, I did not do anything. Uh, so, so much for that secret. Um, I'm gonna cut out some parts. But uh, this first episode is going to basically be a tutorial. There's going to be a half of the. There's going to be another half of this episode. So don't worry. Um, so we will 
this on a day, we're just going to be going through places. So, uh, everything that you see here is actually uh, me playing the entire game. We're already 15 minutes into this part. And I screwed it up. I forgot to lock on. So, I guess we're not getting a secret. So, I have to come back at a later point, which kind of sucks. Anyways, without further ado, I'm going to meet you guys over there at the lovely bridge. Alright, well, come in. No need to be shy. Thanks for letting us come in, Ira. So you want another shop of some sort of here, Ira? Looks like it. This is a pretty nice place. Aw, thank you. You two must be very hungry. Let me get started on dinner right away. Here we go! Holy granola, look at this spread. Miss Ira, are you sure this is in trouble? Don't be silly, you did see me after all. Besides, it's far more fun to eat with company. Well, you heard the lay, let's dig in. Well, alright. Cheers, Ira! Several minutes later. I see. So you're searching for a witch and your search led you to this town? That's right. I was wondering if you had any idea about where we could look for her. This town is surrounded by old ruins and the like. I can't think of any particular place such a person will hide. I'm sorry. No, it's okay, really. Sweet heaven above. This is wonderful. The tongue trembling flash of sweetness when you bite into it. The soft, gelatinous texture. It's so delicious. I think I'm gonna die from taste overload. I'm so glad you like it. It's my special slime of your marinade, you see. Um. Uh, Slime, what's it? Oh, don't worry. I'll eat all the boobies an hour ahead of time. What? I don't know. Don't leave any leftovers. Man, that was so good. Could have done without knowing what was in it, though. Either way, though, Iris amazing. She helped us out a lot. She reminds me a bit of you, Elise. Just more grown up like. Really? Alright, enough flowering. Time to get down to some real detective work. Oh, okay. Someone around here has got to know something. Maybe. Hopefully. Let's grow the locals for info. Anyways, uh, we're actually going to do that in the next part, but I really do want to let you guys know something that you need to figure out. This music right here. This is the most awesome music you've ever heard in this entire I've ever heard in this entire game. And there are barrows! Uh, welcome to the town, by the way. Um, the barrows you can randomly destroy for whatever reason. But other than that, this is actually kind of nice music. I'm gonna let you um, hear it for a little while as we end off um, this entire first part. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. If you enjoy this part of Chantilly's Challenger Sisters demo, please click like even not done so already. Right. Hi, can you subscribe to the place? Nothing in the comes out every other day. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. And I'll meet you guys next time for more Chocolate's Tale to Sisters demo.